Okay, today we're going to talk about the get attribute built in function in Python 3. As always, let's start by looking at the docs. So, get attribute takes three parameters object, name, and default. Uh, the only thing I really want to highlight here is this third parameter, this default. So, if you try to get an attribute that doesn't exist, we can add a default here, none, or, or what have you, and uh, that'll keep from getting a hard traceback error. To get started, I created a Jeep class for us and added two attributes, HP and model. And so let's just run that. We're going to print out get attribute and we're going to get that value. We're going to get that 300. And of course, if I switch this to model, um, same thing, this will print out and we'll get Wrangler. What's interesting though is what happens if you try to get an attribute that doesn't exist? Well, you're going to get a hard error. You're going to get a trace back attribute error and this is something that I don't like to have happen in my code and I try to avoid it and that's why I like how we have this default parameter right so if I try to get model uh, maybe I could default the type to I don't know four by four or something um, so we can run that and we'll get four by four because model doesn't have exist or you know say we want HP uh, you know we can we can do zero or uh, none is another super common default parameter. So we'll run that, we can get none. So there's a lot you can do. I think this default parameter is super helpful. Another way uh, to get attributes is to do it at the dot notation, right? So you can do jeep.hp, print that out. Um, that'll get that 300, but you know, you try to get something that doesn't exist, you're gonna get a hard error and there's no easy way uh, to have a default or to handle that. Um, so that's why I just like using get attribute for this sort of thing. One last thing I want to highlight is that we can get functions as well. Doesn't just have to be little attributes. Um, so we're going to print this out. And the only real difference is we have uh, brackets here so that it runs the function. So we run that, you know, of course we get the beep beep. So that is to say that we can do get attribute with functions as well. That's pretty much it though. Thanks for watching.